Hey y'all, welcome to today's Bald and Beautiful chat. Today's uh, episode started with them saying that Ridge would do anything to be at Steffi's wedding. And to have a double wedding uh, would be great. And, um, you know, they're going to take that into consideration. Ridge went to see Quinn and uh, she told him sh he shouldn't be there. And that Ivy lives there. This is at the mansion. And um, he needed a wake-up call. Um, the wake-up call was Ivy seeing um, them kiss. Um, over it, um, my mind has completely left me. Over at Spectra, they say they treated Jarrett like royalty. And that the review doesn't sound like something that Jarrett would say the way it was worded. Uh, Thomas tries to console Sally. It's just one review, he tells her. But uh, she just feels like it's over with and she's going to have to default on the loan. And it's going to be the end of Spe Spectra. Uh, the, uh, everybody, the intern, not the intern, the... Um, receptionist and Saul say something about uh, getting an internship at Forrester and Thomas says that they couldn't or get a job at Forrester and he says you can't get an internship there unless you're in school. Um, Brooke is very interested in getting married in Australia and tells RJ this. Uh, Rich tells Quinn he's engaged and she says, so why are you here? And he says he's engaged and, you know, things need to stop between them. Uh, he says, we're not supposed to even like each other. Um, Sally tells her employees that employment will end tomorrow at Spectra and, um, um, Shirley, which is her grandmother, uh, insinuates they need to hire a designer, but Sally says that she's the designer there. Uh, and she, Shirley says that they need someone on the inside to help get the designs. Kind of like when the uh, older Sally was there, and they say that she stole the designs from Forrester. The, uh, the grandmother, Shirley, is kind of going along those same lines with that. And Steffi reads the review about Spectra's fashion show, and she's very smug about it and seemed very happy that they got a bad review. Uh, Ridge doesn't not like Quinn. And he asks why they kissed and uh, says that there is opposite sex appreciation. He says he is not repulsed by Quinn. And, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Ridge asked Quinn why she kissed him. And then RJ asks Brooke, asks Brooke, does she think Ridge will be a good husband? And she thinks he will be a wonderful husband. Quinn asks uh, Ridge, has he ever played golf? Has he ever played tennis? And uh, she is going to compare why she kissed him to that. And he says it's a metaphor. Uh, Ridge says, or Quinn says Ridge wanted to see her rattled. Uh, Quinn says she kissed him and gave him something she could uh, trust him with was the kiss that he wouldn't tell. Uh, she tells him he needs to go back to hating her. And Steffi continues to read the review and she's uh, gloating and like kicking someone when they're down is kind of the way she reminded me. And she says Sally dresses like a clown. Sally says Thomas Forster wouldn't sell out his family for her. Um, and then uh, Sally's sister, Coco, uh, arrives at Spectrum. She had wanted to be there for the fashion show, but she got there late. Uh, and Sally's sister, 
said, never say die, that there is something that they can do. Thomas says people have uh, told Steffi that, that uh, people have dreams. And uh, she, Steffi's mad because he laughed at uh, Sally uh, making Steffi look foolish with throwing the cake. Uh, and then he stands there and remembers the kiss. And then Shirley came up with the idea of Coco will go to work at Forster since she's in school. She could probably get in there and be like a plant uh, to find out what their designs are. And then RJ doesn't want Brooke and Ridge's wedding upstaged by Steffi and Liam's wedding. So uh, I guess he just wants that a really special time for them. And RJ is afraid the happy times will end and he will feel cheated because he's been away at school and things all his life. And then he comes home and there's happiness for a little while and then it'll be taken away so he'll feel cheated. Uh, he's proud and grateful of his parents and uh, they're all standing around uh, talking about the wedding and you know the family unit and Quinn is standing by the door watching this so that was today's show and uh, Quinn I mean uh, Coco Sally's sister doesn't seem at all like Sally she's not as um, out there I guess you would say so now I'm gonna read to you some more uh, trivia about the bald and the beautiful. Uh, the pilot episodes focused on the wedding preparation for the Forrester's eldest son, Ridge, to Caroline Spencer Forrester, the daughter of media mogul Bill Spencer. Uh, so my question while I was writing that and when I read it, would this mean Ridge has been married to mother and daughter since Ridge's most recent marriage uh, was to Caroline Spencer Bill's niece. So tell me what you think about that. And um, Ridge is a designer and VP of Forster Creations at this time. The wedding was in every media outlet being called the wedding of the year in the fashion world. Huge speculation on who could tame the playboy who had always refused to settle for just one woman. One of the women speculating is chemistry student Brooke Logan from a working class family, a single mother, uh, the single mother of Brooke is Beth, and the siblings are Storm, Donna, and Katie. They live in San Fernando, huh, San Ferna, San Fernando Valley. Beth was Eric's college girl girlfriend before he married Stephanie. So Eric had a child with his ex-girlfriend's daughter Brooke, who was Rick, and they married. Eric had a child with his ex-girlfriend's daughter Brooke, and they married. So Eric had an affair. That's hard for me to take in. Anyway, Brooke meets Ridge, and the storyline for the first year is um, fueled with their love affair. Like today, they would break up and get back together. When they would break up, Ridge would go back to another love of his life, who is Dr. Taylor Hayes. There is also a rivalry between Stephanie and Brooke, and eventually Eric divorces Stephanie to marry Brooke. Brooke has two children by Eric. They eventually divorce and Eric reconciles with Stephanie. So that's, I'm gonna have to think about those couple little things because um, that's hard for me to take in. Anyway, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me your thoughts uh, on the show and, and I hope you continue watching and enjoy it. Until I see you next time, take care, bye-bye.